Good afternoon, neighbors. Welcome to Resort TV One Homes. I'm Steph, this is Josh, and we've got Liam here in the back with us, and we are in Daytona at Bucky's. And Josh hasn't been here yet, and Liam and I are excited to show him all the fun things inside. And you can see that we had kind of a long ride to get over here. Um, so Liam, can you tell us what you did to keep yourself busy? Hi. So, uh, in the back here, I had some friends. Mr. Eight. Hi. Mr. Eight. Uh, of course, Optimus. Optimus and, Prime. Uh, Bumblebee. Uh-huh. Hi, guys. And now, let me take you back where Art was amazing. There it is. He made an awesome picture. It's a, Look at that. It's based on a rattlesnake. That's so cool, buddy. Very cool. And we also played our favorite road game, Road Trip Bingo. We got guess. a couple different boards of these, so make sure you pick those up. Super fun. Super fun. So, Josh, what are you looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to going inside and seeing what this is all about. I've heard about this for a long time. I've seen lots of people do videos about it, and I've just, you know, never really, I didn't watch much of the video because I wanted to go see it myself. So I'm excited to go experience this, um, you know, new kind of, American thing that's kind of spreading across the country and see what it's like. Okay. So first that's we're going to take you back. That's a Thanks, good buddy. observation. <laughs> okay. So first we're going to take you back and show you how we got here and show you a little bit the, about the traffic and then we'll see you inside. All right. So we are just about to get off of I-4 onto 95. North. Yep. North. Daytona you actually take like straight into Daytona Beach you actually take that exit that we just passed there so I-4 actually ends here or begins begins or ends right for us it's ending mile marker 132 so that's the end of the road and then if you go all the way over to Tampa it starts right at uh, 275 in Tampa so oh, I see the speedway over there Bucky's five miles. There we go. And here's another way to get into Daytona Beach. There's several ways in. This is the way to the speedway over here. Daytona Beach Racing and Card Club. I guess this is the main way, N92. And let's see. Oh, just over the trees is the speedway. It's very big. We should be able to see it from the top of the hill here. Beautiful day with all the clouds. There it is. Right there. Pretty impressive structure for sure. And then you can do tours of that. They'll drive you around the track and there's a museum and all those kind of things. Very similar to Indianapolis in that way. Almost there. So we're getting close. It looks like there's a little bit of a uh, back up at the exit ramps. We'll see what that's about. There is a lot of merging uh, when you're coming in off of I-4. I believe we had to get over like two or three times if you're in the right lane, so just be prepared for that. But uh, Looks like we've got car dealership row over here on our left, yep. and this is also the exit for the outlet mall yep. and, and Bucky's. Yeah, like there's literally like every type Everything. of car you could ever want over here on the left, and then Tangier, or not Tangier, Tanger outlets. The Bucky sign over there. I don't know why we'll say Tangier. <laughs> because the G is supposed to be J. Yeah. With an Eva. Oh boy. It's a popular exit. Yep. These outlets are huge, but we you know we've got big outlets in Orlando too, so that's nothing nothing uh, different or out of the ordinary for us. Alright. Alright, I see the sign for it right there above the trees. 
Bucky himself. <laughs> It's right up here, straight ahead of us. Bucky. Oh. Now, Liam, I feel like when we were here before, the exits were quite like this, weren't they? Yeah, this is a pretty common thing for these exits here to be pretty crowded. And there's the building just beyond the stoplight there. You can see it. But you can't go straight across. You have to go out and around. Okay. I'm going to show the map. So we have to go out and around a little bit here. So just we just have to go uh, to the right and then make a U-turn and come. Not we a U-turn. We don't have to. No, we have to. Yeah, you have to go right and then there's a different, uh, different uh, entrance to the place. So they probably got it to where it's easier to bring people in. Even some of the pilot stations and stuff, or loves uh, up by uh, I-4 have that same configuration. All right. So there's two right turn lanes here at the exit, and it's easier if you are in the leftmost right lane right turn lane because then you'll be turning left to get into the um, gas station slash Bucky's whatever you want to call it you'll be turning left to get into that area so we went here you went here before Maybe they'll have another one. And we also found a horse pit, but we couldn't buy it. It was for the place. Yeah. Right, here we go. And again, we get a little closer look at the sign. It does say Daytona Beach on the sign, which is cool. Turning right onto LPGA Boulevard and now left into yes. Bucky's with everybody else. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was kind of crazy coming in here it's a huge place I knew it was huge but there's just so much going in and out I guess it's this is a really great example of if you build it they will come yeah and if you build it build bigger parking I think is what that's gonna be take a look at that tanger outlet. yep tanger outlet. I if you can see that I got it zoomed but yeah there's several different places Academy there we have sports there's the leasing Nike. Burlington Hobby Lobby Russ Dave & Buster's, uh, TJ Maxx. Here's a little closer look at the sign so you can see what is available. You can pause the video here if you wanna see. And that's not everything that's there, that's, they're just the more major stores. And now you can't see it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, truck. <laughs> Thank you. And one thing that you will see right away is that parking is a huge, huge uh, issue sometimes here because there are constantly cars coming in and out, cars waiting for parking spaces, and it is definitely very, very uh, busy around here. So yeah, Liam Le found a motorcycle for his car, bingo, that's awesome. So yeah, but anyway, it's uh, a lot of parking turnaround, in and out, in and out all the time. So be careful in the parking lot, and also be prepared to be patient to find a spot. All right, so we're turning in here. It's uh, Technology Boulevard and Outlet Boulevard. I don't know what Stonewood is, I guess it's a type of Restaurant looks pretty interesting. Uh, grill, Sunwood Grill, lunch, yeah. dinner, sports. Okay. And oh. here um, we are. There's a little stoplight here as we this go. This is only out. Yep, that's an exit only, and we see the building there. So we're gonna. And the sign that we saw. Yep. Yes, and, and the, the sign. Big sign. Yep. There are two lanes that also turn left here. Definitely, it's, it's noon, so we're 1230 almost, so it's definitely busy at this time for sure. It did take us about an hour and 45 minutes to get here from Orlando with a little traffic. Depending you know what part of Orlando you're coming from, Disney area, I'd say an hour and a half to an hour and 45. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you're coming closer to Universal, it's a little bit less. Okay, so it says no trucks here, but we are going to go in here in just a second. There, there went that, because <laughs> you know, you don't have to wait in line, you just go in front of people. Oh, a hint of what Bucky's is about? Yeah, if, uh, give them a hint of what you like about Bucky's. There we go. So like, it, it has like everything, it has toys, it, um, it's just everything. So like, last time we were here, there was a truck that 
park in front so we had to like park in the middle of the road. Yeah. That's right. There was no parking spaces so we got blocked in by somebody who wasn't going to be in there very long. So we have arrived. Looks like they're hiring. <laughs> And we're coming in here, it looks like more like going into like a Walmart or something than a uh, gas station. It's so crazy. I gotta go wide angle to show this. This is crazy. <laughs> it's so big. Literally. Bucky, you can color. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It's only $13. Wow. Lots of different uh, lots of different stuff going on here, that's for sure. Boy oh boy. And look, you can see the back of the store way, way over there. It's it's literally just unmatched in size. I mean obviously, you know, it's not as big as a Walmart, you know, but you're not really expecting a gas station to be. So here's the food section over here. You see some people we know? <laughs> well, imagine that. This place, this place is so big, there are like all these people we know here. And what a coincidence running into you guys here. Are you excited? How busy is this place? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That almost has to be like a special event. I saw, we saw Bucky over there, the real guy. Oh, we gotta go find him. Oh my gosh. Looks like there's one over there too, like a big, a big plush over there on the top of the thing. So, on oh, actual, like, okay. Oh, well, we gotta go do the meet and greet. <laughs> All right. So again, the food area, and then here is the world famous restroom. Sorry, I'm trying to navigate a crowd here, but here is the world famous restroom area because I can't show you that, but that's uh, still pretty cool. And Steph and Liam and Jenna are headed over to meet Bucky over here, so that's gonna be kind of cool. We'll see how that works out. He's usually here, apparently, so we'll, we'll see if we can get in line and figure that out. Uh, give him a hug. <laughs> High five. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> Bucky's got his own strawberry meringue dessert here. And he's, he's definitely got. Okay. Now those lactose free people have choices. Jenna and I can eat <laughs> the really same cool. food. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Why you like uh oh, Woo! I think she likes it. <laughs> That's amazing. That's pretty cool. You can help yourself if you want to come in. I don't know how to describe that food. I mean, it's delicious, but I don't know how to describe it. Is it good? It's amazing. <laughs> Okay, Josh is gonna try it. How do you describe that flavor? It's light and airy, almost like a, like a taffy or a cotton candy. A yeah, it's like, it's like a cotton candy, but it's like hard. I don't know. It's, it's not amazing. As sweet as cotton candy. It's, it's no. really good. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. We're gonna totally get some of those. <laughs> So, if you're new here, this is Josh's sister Jenna and her husband Dale. So, it's Aunt Jenna and Uncle Dale. And Liam. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, and Liam has light up shoes today. Okay. One of the things I love about this place is the bathrooms are huge. Obviously, I'm not going to film in there, but they have art all over the walls so you can get a glimpse of what life might be like here. It's beach art. It's horse friendly. It's all about traveling. It's beautiful. They're always The bathrooms I've always found are clean and well stocked. And as far as truck stops go, this is high class when it comes to the bathrooms. One of the other things I love about this place is they have literally some of everything. They have some national brands. They have more selection. This is the Tillamook variety. I love Tillamook products. They have more selection um, and they have a lot of their own stuff. So like you see um, a trail mix over here, but then over here they've got their own blended um, salted caramel churro um, flavored mixes. They've got like you know their own honey roasted cashews 
and of course their own uh, travel products. Look at this wall. This is all their own products here. Nutty. Nutty bites. Look at these. Oh my goodness, those look amazing. It's a party plate with a party cup and a rainbow party cup. That is amazing. And that's right, food and wine. Take that with you to Epcot. <laughs> So on their wall of soda and beverages, they have established 1982, which is um, interesting because I didn't know they'd been around that long in Texas, I guess. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, so you've got a whole wall of every kind of beer you could probably think of and then uh, all kinds of soda, sports drinks and all that. And then you can see all the way down to the other end, it almost looks like an infinite wall of food and things. And out to the right is the uh, where the gas pump area is right behind where Bucky is still meeting guests so but i wanted to point that out i didn't know it'd been around that long so it's pretty cool yeah all right so i found the gummy section here so i'm definitely going to grab some butterflies and maybe some sour ones i think we can do that so there you go sour ones and butterflies fun times <laughs> So I love this. They have organic coconut clusters. This one has cranberries and cashews and almonds. And this one has chia and sunflower and pumpkin seeds. And they're both organic. Nice. A giant coffee station over here. <laughs> Definitely got your coffee fix in mind. And uh, cream and sugar station and all that fun stuff. The Bucky sign in the back. as That's what you see when you come in from the gas station part. So yeah. Awesome. So they do have some home baked things too. Some decadent looking chocolates. If I can show you without the glare. Here, show this one. I have that one first. Sorry. They look yummy. Got some chocolate chip cookies. There we go. So this is the checkout area that goes out to the gas station over here. And then across from that are the restrooms and the drink station, along with uh, the actual food area. They do have some quick, um, healthy grab-and-go snacks. They've got some salads and fruit and yogurt. These all look super delicious. Some charcuterie boxes. On this side, they have these um, dried beef and pork sausage ones, cups. Just some little snack things to help tide you. Here's one with some carrot and celery and ranch dressing. These would be perfect for your cooler to take out to the beach too. So, um, so you can order over here and get some custom things. And then if you hear them over the loudspeaker, you can pick up your order over there. They've got burritos, taco, jerky, bakery stuff, and all this, all these decadence over here as well. Make sure you check out Jenna and Dale's vlog. I know that they're going to be able to try a bunch of this stuff. Um, that Josh and Liam won't eat, <laughs> that I can't have. I would eat every single bit of it though. Look at this. These are uh, cinnamon glazed pecans and they, and cashews, and they smell amazing. Seriously smells like the county fair here, and then you can even see what they're doing here. Mm, smells awesome. So this is as much a shopping experience as it is a uh, food experience and everything. Um, so you can just see, you could seriously get lost in here. <laughs> it's like a Cracker Barrel general store with a county fair and uh, the best truck stop ever. <laughs> All you really need is love, chocolate, and fabulous shoes. Oh, and wine. Some beautiful coffee cups. Signs for every door. Because this is Daytona Beach and Florida, they also have all your things for beach house and things that you can take home to your own house. They did not leave out the baby stuff. We've got some kid stuff too. Fun socks for us grown-ups. 
They've also got some beautiful native inspired things. These are lovely. And also got everything you need to go to the beach. If you have an impromptu trip, here you go. And look what he found. Yes, and we're back to this. Are you gonna hug him? Just hug him or are you gonna put him in the basket? Okay. Yep. Happiness is sunshine and buckies. And they've got your swimsuit matching family swimsuits covered. <laughs> Fun. Lovely beach bags. World famous jerky and a car. Hello up there, Bucky. Squishy. Liam wanted to show you the squishy balls here. And those little things. Cool. Very cool. Yes. Bucky's driving his car. Yep, he's driving his own car here. That's pretty cool. World famous jerky. And he's also up here overseeing everything here in the store. We got phone holders. This looks like lockers here. It's like locker rooms and stuff. You found the Bucky pillows. Yep, we got sports gear and sports gear and stuff. Blankets for whatever you want. We do also have um, little Disney characters here too, Frozen and all those things. So it's cool. Welcome to Bucky's Daytona Beach. We got a Coke sign over here. That's cool. <laughs> all right, Leah wants to show these and these over here. Oh yeah, that's fun. Oh, it changes. That's yeah, cool. It's Heart or Florida. It's very cool. I think it should be Florida. Yep. Okay. We have Bucky's Jenga right here. This is pretty cool. Liam sees this. This is neat too. Astro Pack or something. That flies over 100 feet. Wow. But yeah. I was really interested in the fact that they actually had Bucky's branded Jenga, and they've got these uh, Bucky's competitive washers over here and. Uh, even uh, four in a row, like a like a Connect Four type thing. So really cool outdoor games for everybody. I love all the vintage signs, like General Tire and Gillette tires and batteries. That's cool. You know, I was thinking the Gillette razors and stuff. Got Sinclair over here, a gas station type thing. Firestone, like just really cool. And the fitting rooms over here are all Western themed. So Liam loves those. <laughs> so yeah, and even like some horse themed toys and stuff. Very cool. And Mario. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's like a giant uh, RV type thing. Whoa. Cool. Yep. Big trucks and stuff. All kinds of things. I totally support this. Dot to dot scratch and Love sketch. It. Love, Love it. this. Kubota here. <laughs> Mom, you want a Kubota? Yeah. So there you go. You got some more merch over here. You got all the kids stuff even. And the... Uh, Classic Bucky hoodie. See these around a lot. Even a duffel bag up there. That's cool. This is a party area. We were just showing on Jen and Dale's vlog. Look at all this stuff. You almost have to be in widescreen around here. Everything's so big. We were showing this earlier with the party cup and tray. And then you can have your whole party here. Got wrapping paper, plates, cups, napkins, all the things. So fun. We have a wide selection of mugs, even the wine and champagne glasses and all that stuff. I don't know about champagne, but different kinds of wine and alcohol glasses. <laughs> I don't know my glasses very well. So these are really cool. Liam wanted to show these. These are really cool pillows. This one's got like little like chip pillow pieces in here. Pizza, and then there's a cactus down there. Bubble gum with little pieces of bubble gum in it. So this is a tractor desk here. It's almost like a sewing table type thing, but I don't know. Like desk, coffee table, something. It's really cool. Whatever it is. Awesome. Some more bathing suits over here. We've got some beautiful sun hats. Um, a lot of things that you could use for fishing and outdoor life. Some cargo storage, some coolers. Just a lot of things that you could really use on your life on the road. We also have some basic supplies for flashlights and um, ropes, barbecuing outside. Just a whole lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily think to find at every truck stop. Giant umbrellas. That's really useful here. Backtracking a little bit. I love some of these books they've got. Uh, Greek gods and goddesses, Dungeons and Dragons, biographies for Lucille Ball and Willie Nelson, some Mickey Mouse, Happy Earth Day. That one's going home with me. Just some fun stuff uh, to keep the kids occupied in the car. And there really is something here for everyone.
Love it. Liam, I spy your favorite shark. Do you see your favorite shark? Yeah. Can you hold one so we can all see it? It may bite you. It may bite you. What type of shark is it? It's a hammerhead. A hammerhead. And what is their superpower? What is their superpower? See? That's right. Vision. Because they can see... And smashing things. And smashing things. I know okay. why it's called a hammerhead. Because it's as strong as a hammer. It's as strong as a hammer. Thank you. They have not left out the doggies. We've got plenty of stuff for fun doggies here too. So Josh is going to try and order some lunch here. Um, what sounds good? I'm going to do the three-piece chicken. <clears throat> oh. So let's see. Um, <laughs> ketchup. Ketchup, yeah. Ketchup. <laughs> I don't want an extra chicken strip. But not I want even extra for gravy. Liam? Um, well, let's see. Liam, do you want a chicken strip, buddy? No. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess we'll just go with three. He can share one if he really wants one. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's, let's see, continue order. Oh, that's it. Oh, you need to add the fries? Uh, I think the fries were already in there, weren't they? Oh, maybe. And it just said chicken strips. No, it shows fries on it. Pretty sure. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Okay. Okay. We'll let you know when it comes up. I don't know if Josh showed this or not, but they do have some beautiful scented candles. Cinnamon roll, signature scent coffee blend so this whole counter here is jerky and you can order it by the pound half pound by the bulk and then we've got tacos burritos and you pick up your order here it has not been very long and josh already has his order and we're getting ready to go check out <laughs> so liam was liam was dancing a little bit on jen and dale's vlog there he's doing the carlton so and um, we just had our picture with bucky outside the uh restaurant slash gas station slash whatever you call this what what do you okay so what first of all what do you guys think you've been here before amazing i've not been to this one um but what, yeah it's like overwhelming and I, you know i love to shop yeah but it was like overwhelming like because it was super busy yeah but amazing like steph said it's clean it smells like the fair like josh said <laughs> it does smell like the fair um there's all kinds of food and like different food yeah. Which I love. I it's love not all food. barbecue. If you don't like barbecue, there's stuff for yeah, you. Yeah, there's yep. other things. There's snacks, there's treats, which I love. Um, so you got to go back because there's so many things you can't try it all in one trip. Oh, yeah. No, and there's always new stuff, I'm sure, all the yeah. time. And it's just absolutely huge, yeah. like overwhelmingly huge, right? And matching bathing suits. Like. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it's never been this busy that I've been here. No, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's it's yeah. calm. We got here at 1230 and it's calmed down a little bit, yeah. it seems like. But it's still pretty busy. There's a Bucky's floaty. There was a Bucky's floaty. Yep. Yeah. I mean, pretty much there's a Bucky's anything you can think of. Yes. So yeah, it's a pretty pretty amazing place, and definitely be coming back. And I can't wait till they get one closer yeah. to home. Yeah, me too. I'm anxious to check out the one, the new one in Ocala. I'm yeah. actually surprised they don't like. I mean, I guess there's, there's not land, but Orlando. they should really build one like by Disney. People would people would come to Disney yep. and be like, if I they could do it on the turnpike. I they said. could do it on the yeah. turnpike. They need to do that. So anyway, yeah, pretty fun, awesome place. So Dale, what what what's your what are your thoughts? Uh, it's cool. I've been here several times now, and this is like I said, it's the busiest time we've ever been here. There's times here like these that are like empty up front here. Like, Even up front, at all. Like we can just walk up and there's nothing. But I love the trail mix is always my favorite. Yeah. Very good golf food. Okay. And jerky stuff as well. So you have the variety. I just like these the flavor of uh jerky and trail mix and stuff here that you can't get at a lot of other places right so that's usually my my go-to but super stuff. cool yeah. i think yeah. that makes this makes these places successful you can find stuff here that you can't find somewhere else and yep. people are likely to come and do that again so yeah. awesome awesome well thanks for uh hanging out on our video for a little bit and guys make sure you check out their video on adventures of jen and dale and you know we'll have all different all the different things we're showing all the different stuff so it's totally yeah. different videos you're not gonna miss anything no right. at all <laughs> all of it <laughs> that's right that's right all right, so you can see the line for gas. I mean, this place is just intense, like all the time. It's just crazy. Uh, you can see there's the side of the building where you go in for the gas and everything. And it just, uh, the gas pumps just keep going. I, I hear a lot of times they have a hundred or more gas pumps. You can actually see there's a second row of gas pumps back there. Um, and that is just, it's absolutely mind blowing. Um, so yeah, even with that, there's still a line. So, um, and actually it goes all the way back here uh, to get gas. So. I don't know if we'll get gas or not. It may be easier to get it somewhere else. We'll have to see. This is like Dale said earlier. This is busier than what um, than what you you know a lot of people have seen it before. Uh, what he had seen it before for sure. And we didn't get a good video of the front of the store here. 
So this is the iconic front of Bucky's. A lot of people um, have photographed this and it's just very iconic. Let me go to widescreen so you can see it a little better because I can't really back up. There's a whole line of cars behind me, but that is the front. It's so cool. I'm with Bucky himself just smiling and being excited to welcome everybody in. And just show you the side of the building a little bit here. You got the stars because this place did originate in Texas. So the Lone Star State is represented at all of the Bucky's, which is pretty cool. And I want to point out again the line of cars. I've literally never seen anything like this in my life. I mean, it looks like the it's not as big as the Disney parking lot, but the amount of cars coming in and out is similar to a Disney park. It's insane. And it may not be that, but it just seems that way. Just so much. All the lines and all the people coming and going in every single parking lot. Parking spot full. And I'm sure somebody will grab our spot within just a couple seconds after we grab it. Like here's one open right here and I'm sure somebody's going to grab it. All right, so we're back out at the car. Here is my food. It looks amazing. And there's no space inside for dining. They've used all the space for, um, you know, all the food and um, all of the merch and everything like that. So uh, you have to eat in your car and kind of take it to go. There's not even any tables or anything to eat outside and it's kind of too hot to do that anyway, but it looks really good. I got my little thing of ketchup there and I've got some mustard and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so it did take us a little bit to get to the car. We were out in the sun, so we're all a little warm and Josh is going to enjoy his food but thanks for joining us today at Bucky's. If you are interested in making Central Florida your home make sure you go to resorttv1homes.com and fill out the contact information. We'll have one of our awesome agents uh, contact you. We are brokered by EXT Realty and they're the best real estate team in Central Florida. So thank you for joining us. So won't you be our neighbor? Bye-bye.